haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get instantly notified from the updates of Bing Civil, a complete civil engineering tutorial channel. Happy learning! Hello everybody, welcome to Bing Civil. In this video, we will learn the method of joins, the uh, simple trust analysis method. Uh, so there are some basic assumption in the analysis of trust. One is the in connection of the trust members are friction less being joined, and trusses are loaded at joints only. If the trusses <coughs> are not loaded at the joints, so there will be bending moment in the trust member. So third assumption is trusts are only actual members that's why they are allowed to load to be loaded at the joints only so analysis of trans means to determine the support reactions and the member forces this is our truss this is a isosceles triangle let the truss is loaded at the top joint yet there is a vertical force of 5 kN and in horizontal force 2 kN this is our support A and support C support A is pin jointed and support C is roller so for support A there will be two forces one is the vertical and one is the horizontal direction and in support C there will be only force in vertical direction. First you have to determine the reactions here. You have to apply the equilibrium equation summation of vertical forces equals to zero. So it gives you for horizontal force to be in equilibrium to determine V and VC you have to take the moment equation in equilibrium let us taking a moment about C so it will be VA moment in clockwise direction VA into the distance is A minus or is 5 newton newton forces 5 into distance is a by 2 and for these two is a um, moment clockwise direction so then 2 into height b is equals to zero to determine the force uh, calculate this equation you know a and b both so va will come out at 0.768 so vc will be 5 minus va 4.232 calculate it now you have to come to the method of joints to determine the truss member forces for this you have to take one joints joints one by one let us first take the joint number a this is joint number a what are the forces here in the vertical direction there is the a in the horizontal direction there is h a which is equal to 2 and v a equals to 0.768 now there are two member forces so here you have to make an assumption you don't know the nature of the forces in the members here whether it is compressive or tension you take an assumption that the member force are away from the um, joints like this so if you have a member like this or these two members you take 
this force of direction so it is uh, like tensile in nature and this is for this member ac it is also in tensile in nature and the assumption is tensile force are positive as you have cut this member from here at the joints you are uh, seeing this for a whole truss it looks like this compressive but for this joint and this section only it looks like it, it is a tensile force so you take the tensile force is positive this is if a b it is from a to b and this is from a to c let us take write it if is and uh, for the when we do this B member B joint the force B A will be like this so if A B and if B A will be equal because in a member there uh, is only one direction force so this if A B and if B A will obviously be equal now for this joint you have two equations one is along the vertical and one is along the horizontal direction let um, for the joint to be in equilibrium the vertical directional forces and the horizontal directional forces should be in equilibrium so what is the equation in vertical direction uh, so it is in up direction to write writing down minus if a b sine 60 minus b a is equals to 0 so you know the value of b a so calculate if a b will be negative and that is minus of 0.768 by sine 60 it will come out as minus 0.887 as you have taken the tensile is positive but you are getting a negative forces it means it is a compressive force so you get if maybe for the horizontal directional force if ac plus if eb cos 60 is equals to 2 so you know if ab so determine if ac if ac which will be equal to So you have got if AB, if AC and one member force is remaining. Let us take the joint B here. For joint B, what are the forces? There is a vertical force 5, horizontal force 2 and if there is two member force like this. Here again you take away from the joints. So it is if BA and it is if bc if pa is will always be equal to if ab now there is only one force is unknown that is if bc here it is 30 degree it is 30 degree so what are the equations let us take the vertical direction to be in equilibrium so the forces are 5 plus if b a cos 30 plus if b c cos 30 is equals to 0. Minus 4.887 is also compressive in nature so by doing the method of joints you got 
these member forces. And you get this as 0.784, this is 4.232, and this is 2. So that's all method of joints. Uh, in the next video, I will do another example of method of joints of a truss more complex from this. Thank you. Stay tuned. Happy learning.